Hello, welcome back. It's Daniel back in my basement studio today. We're talking about the K1C and yesterday's live stream. Uh, what I discovered in yesterday's live stream is that the top lid of this printer was coming off during the initial calibration and also during the first test print. And I was wondering why that is and trying to figure out the reason. And this is what I found out. So first of all, the top lid needs to be positioned in a specific way and needs to be secured in place. And what does it mean? And it's not really intuitive in the first second. This top lid actually sits fairly secure if you put it down in the right way. But if you just put it down like we did yesterday, just like putting it on top and then like letting it sit like that, it is not firmly secured in place. There's actually two magnets here in these two corners, here are the magnets, and they are supposed to sit on top of these corner screws and really have contact. Now, what we didn't know yesterday is that once you just lay it down, this is not the case. It might be the case in one of the corners, but not in the other one necessarily. What you need to do, and this is after testing it out a little bit, I realized, okay, we're gonna place it on the first magnet, and then we have to push it down until we hear this clicking sound, right? And now it's fairly, fairly secure. Like if it really clicks down in both corners, it's sitting fairly well, not moving anywhere. My first idea actually was that the PTFE tube is too short and that's the reason why it keeps pushing against this top cover. That's actually not true. I think actually the PTFE tube has the absolute right length because I tried to release it from the filament sensor here in the back and then push it a little bit into this cable chain to so give it a little more slack. But the result wasn't what I wanted. In, in fact, now the PTV tube was pushing up against the top cover, lifting it up even more. So if it's not secured in place, it would still push against it. Not good for the PTV in the long term, probably wearing off and rubbing against it is not a good idea and it still didn't solve the problem, still pushed off the top cover. So the best way to do this is really make sure it's securely pushed down until you hit these clicking sounds. Now, probably for some peace of mind, I personally would probably fix it with two additional stripes of tape, just, just to be sure it's not coming off. Now in the manual anyways, it says for PLA printing, you shouldn't have the top cover on Personally, I would say I would keep it on and still open the door just a tiny bit instead. So it's gonna keep the noise level down a bit better because with the top cover uh, removed, it's gonna be louder. So I'd say keeping the, the door a little bit open like a finger width is normally enough to keep the temperature low enough for PLA printing. And for any other material, you will uh, like, like ABS printing or ASA printing, carbon fiber reinforced ABS, you're gonna close the, the door anyways, so it's a little bit easier. Now, what we wanna look at today is my actual project that I wanted to do yesterday, and we're gonna finish in the next hours, is my laptop stand that I wanted to print yesterday. Now, with the laptop stand, we can take a look at the result from yesterday. It came out fairly well, I would say. The only thing that I realized, there is a little a noticeable extrusion, over extrusion or under extrusion. I realized that the reason for that was that yesterday I had a power outage at night and I just turned on the fuse again and the printer actually continued printing. So this result is probably due to this power outage. Also shows that power outages are handled correctly by this printer, which is good. But now we want to take a look at this result. It comes off easily from the build plate and besides this little you know, visual, it's not a gap actually, it's just one line that's a little bit different in terms of the shape really nicely. And it's this carbon fiber PLA look that we were looking for. Now this is only one part of this laptop stand. What I want to check today before I print the remaining parts, if this is big enough, should still be long enough to support my laptop. If you remember, we were trying to print it in the original design size, but that part is a little bit too large for this print volume. It is longer than the 220 millimeters of 
the build plate that's a little bit smaller than the bamboo lab and that's the reason why I had to scale this part down to 90% and we're going to do the same for the remaining two parts which is a connector piece and a second stand and then I'm going to show you the final result. So let's go. So part number two is also done. Let's take it out. Um, that was already pretty easy. Now we're printing the last piece. And the third part is done. So we can get it off the build plate easily removing the supports and now it's time to assemble it. So how the laptop stand comes together, we have three pieces, left side, this goes into the slot and also on the other side. Let's do it. Probably will require some force and it's a very tight fit. One piece is done, brute forcing it together. Second piece. Okay. Let's put it on my desk. So this is my current desktop situation and you can see the desktop monitor is a bit higher than the laptop and I really want to have it at least almost at the same level so it's easier to work here. And that's why I wanted a laptop stand. So let's put it under my laptop. So let's see how it looks like. It looks much better, I guess. Much better working height. And we can even open it up a bit more. Now what I can also do, this was my second goal. I have a place where I can put my keyboard. So it's out of the way and the desk is way cleaner if I'm not using the computer or if I'm not using the keyboard. So this was a successful project on the K1C. The laptop stand came out really nice. I am going to create a completely new laptop stand, but this time I'm gonna print it with filamentum timber fill, which is a filament, is a PLA that's enriched with wooden fiber and it's gonna smell like wood, look like wood. We can even oil it and I'm gonna create a completely new laptop stand design that's more of a roundish, design versus this very technical and edgy version that we just printed. So it's gonna look completely different because it's for a different office, it's for my wife, and that's my next project. The one thing that I would add here is probably I would want to raise, oh my goodness, now it's sticking really well. I would want to raise this top um, glass panel a little bit because I can see already some scratches here that's coming from this cable chain. So there is a few options on printables already to raise this up a little bit more so the cable chain doesn't scratch it so much. I think it's more or less a visual topic to protect this a little bit better. And this add-on also has kind of a grill going around on all edges. So for printing PLA, it's gonna be a little bit better ventilated. For higher temperature prints, probably not the best. So we wanna really close it completely to keep the temperature in the chamber. I will test it out whether it works and how it looks like. So probably gonna print it in a material that fits the printer's design. And then we're gonna move on to the next test prints. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you got value out of it. Hit subscribe and the bell notification. And I'm gonna see you in my next live stream or in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye, have a good week.